we are going to learn how to make a 3D newspaper title animation just like through Vrate or Vox. So with that said, now let's begin. I'll just select this layer, I'll press a shortcut Ctrl, Alt, Shift and G to fit it properly according to our height of the composition. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll just zoom in and there I'm gonna make sure that the continuous rasterize option is on. Here you can see, I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna create a straight line like this by pressing Shift and make sure that fill is off so i'll press alt and left click to cycle through the fill options and now i'm gonna change the stroke value to something like 10 and change the color to yellow highlighter color now you can increase the stroke of it like this and now i'm gonna just draw another straight line like this to highlight this portion all right now after that what we need to do we need to just select these lines and just make sure that the blending mode is on and if it is not showing you can press f4 to open up okay and there just select multiply so here you can see the text is visible now now just select the shape layer one zoom in and go there and add a trim path and then go to trim path and set a keyframe on the end property go 20 frames forward so i'll press ctrl shift right arrow key two times and there i'm gonna make this one zero so it will animate like this also you can just easy ease and now it will look like this fine now i'm gonna copy these two keyframe by pressing ctrl c and there i'm gonna paste in all of them press u now create a new composition so i'll press ctrl n and hit ok just drag and drop the comp one and create a new null object uh, it is in 3d and null object is also in 3d s and i'll press shift p and i'll set a keyframe over here also make sure to parent the comp one to null one and now just zoom in like this and also change the position to it i'll go 15 frames forward around once again there i'm gonna hit over here and now i'll go around 15 frames forward and there i'm gonna just drag it like this to reveal the next scene and now i'll go around two seconds and there i'm gonna reveal the third part of it so i'll just zoom in like that. and over here we need to drag these keyframes to here and now just select these two and copy and paste over here now let's see now let's create another composition i'm gonna drag and drop that comp two, and there i'm gonna create a new camera make sure that the 50 millimeter is set and two noted camera option is selected now hit ok i'm gonna create a new null object again make sure that the 3d icon is turned on and this one for as well now just parent the camera to null layer set a keyframe on the position so i'll press shift p also and all of this parameter as well now change the x rotation like this i'm gonna set it like this and uh, the position as well now just go a few frames forward now around one second i'm gonna set another keyframe on the position and on the x rotation as well also i'm gonna set a keyframe on the y position as well now i'll move forward a few frames and there i'm going to change the y rotation of it like this and i'm gonna change the position of it as well so it will look like this perfect now i'm gonna go a few frames forward around here and I'm gonna set another keyframe on the position and X rotation and Y rotation as well. Now I'm gonna go a few frames forward again and there I'm gonna change the Y value to something like this and also I'm gonna change the X rotation like this. Now let's ramp preview it. Okay, looks cool. And I'll easy ease those as well. And I'm gonna easy ease those as well. 
in the comp 2 now let's ramp preview it and let's see yep looking much better right now after that we need to adjust the highlighting animations so here we are zooming in so i want to highlight these parts so what i'll do i'll go to the comp 1 and position it over here also position this one over here okay now bring this over here and go to comp 3 now let's see so it is zooming in and then it will start highlighting now when it is over here i want the second highlighting point okay now let's see and over here i want to show the third highlighter so i'll position it over here now let's see fine now let's see one more time how it is looking yep looking nice also now go to your camera settings and there go to camera options and uh, we need to change something over here i want to add a normal blur so at first i will turn on the depth of field we need to change it to two view now just change this one from active camera or maybe we can do left or maybe top and now just select the camera change the aperture value so i'll just bump up the aperture value and now change the focus distance so for starting i'm gonna put it over here you can notice that the hdfc bank logo and other part is not looking sharp so that's how we control the natural camera blur i'll set a keyframe on the focus distance now go a few frames forward and there i'm going to change this focus distance again so i'll just drag it like this and now it is focusing on this part right and after that i'll go a few frames forward and now we want the focus should be over here also here you can see in this part we need to match it properly so that the composition is in focus here you can see right now it is in focus and after that we just need to change the iris shape from fast angle to hexagon now after that let's create a new composition and it will be our final composition so i'll just drag and drop the comp3 toggle the transparency grid here you can see that we have a lot of space over here and over here as well also there now i just need to fill all of those so what i generally do i'll make a new solid and i can pick whip the color from here and now just put it behind our main comp and if you want you can just add an adjustment layer and after that i'm gonna add another effect that is posterize time and make it 24 okay press p and press alt and left click i'm gonna add wiggle 2 comma 5 and now let's ram preview the final comp and let's see yes it is looking pretty pretty cool right if you want you can add some texture over here i'm not going to do this because all of you know already how to do it okay i hope you have learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button and with that said now this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye